Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm going to give another concept for you guys. This is Operation Silver Edge by the Almighty Chanka. And today we have two operators. We have an operator from Austria and we have an operator from UAE, uh, specifically Iran. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this concept. I know you guys have been liking these because they're being a lot of views. So yeah, this is made by the Almighty Chanka. His links will be in the description down below. Make sure you go follow him, check him out. He's made a lot of these concepts. He's a pretty good. So yeah, let's get right into these concepts. Alright, so first up we have Riot, who is a two-speed, two-armor attacker from Vienna. And you've got the Lord there, he was born in Vienna, and he met Mute, and he helped with gas grenades and stuff like that. So yeah, really good interesting lore right there, so yeah. So his gadget is, he has the TZ9 gas grenades, so yeah. Riot carries these TZ gas grenades that he can throw to create a smoke that blurs defender's vision and makes aiming down sight and recoil significantly worse. So defenders in the smoke will begin to cough, attackers nearby can hear that coughing and eliminate the threat. When a defender gets out of the smoke, they will still remain within the effect for 2 seconds and they will cough randomly for 12 seconds. So Riot can deploy these grenades through soft walls like fuses, cluster charges and yin scandalas. Smoke and Riot are mean to each other. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like this concept. So this is like a smoke on attack. However, it like sort of like disorientates them, makes them cough. They can still shoot and shit, but like, yeah. So here's the STM556 assault rifle and the KSG shotgun with the Glock 19 flashes and claymores. I really, really like this concept because I've always liked wanted to see sort of a disorientating like smoke a smoke operated attack, and I love the passive ability where smoke and riot are immune to each other, and this is sort of like a ying alternative. So yeah, imagine using a ying fuse and like um, riot operated together. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this attacker. I think this is a really cool concept as well. So thanks for Ch Tachanka for making this. All right, for the the other attacker we have Zibble, who is two speed two armor, who's from Iran. And he's 42 years old and yeah just some lore about him he was a police officer and then he joined rainbow so yeah so his ability is called scavenger hunt and he has the ability to retrieve attacker gadgets after they died and he can only retrieve one attacker per match and if the attacker's monte and blitz fuse or bark nomad he will stop his primary weapon for the attack weapon so when zibble stops his primary weapon he becomes a one speed however he still remains as a two arm operator this is pretty cool so sort of like you can pick up like attackers that are like down to like their gadgets and yeah he also has a passive ability called rogue agent this is sort of like a castle and attack so like he can use defenders barricade to block flank and shit so yeah this is pretty cool i really like this cop like this design because he, he has infinite uses of barricades but after he places four of them they go on a 10 second cooldown, so he has the car 18 car button, the KSG shotgun, the Caracal F sidearm, and a smoke gun the breaching charger, so yeah. I really, really like this concept. This is something I love to see added to Siege. I love more passive abilities. I think they should add way more passive abilities to this game. It, adds, so it integrates the lore as well, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. I think this is some great concepts for these two attackers. Alright, now for some operator reworks. We have Alibi, so... His Prisma can now scan allies to protect the image of a scanned operator, and it takes 5 seconds to scan an operator, and yeah, his hologram can only be scanned once. I think Alibi doesn't really need a rework, but this will be an interesting for like, sort of maybe an alternative operator. And IQ can now ping electronics through a gadget, and when IQ spots an electronic gadget, it will be highlighted and all attackers are going to be able to see through walls. This is really cool. I really want IQ to be buffed to become more of a Thatcher alternative and require more coordination and teamwork. And we also have the tower rework, so the tower rework brings a completely new imagination of the original map with a fresh look and feeling. I really like the, like, the design of tower, and it says the tower rework is designed by fan favourite maps Oregon and Border. I'm not too sure those are fan favourite maps anymore, but yeah, this will be interesting, and let me know what you guys think. I think tower really deserve a rework, so yeah. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to follow the almighty Chang'e, his concepts are amazing, and yeah, thanks for watching guys, this is Arctus.